Can democracy survive Donald Trump? It sounds melodramatic or hysterical even to ask the question. Donald Trump is driving liberals crazy. We know that. But some have a deeper fear that Trump is bent on replacing democracy with autocracy, the rule of a single mighty individual. This, after all, is the man who claimed during his campaign, I alone can fix it. Meaningful democracy is about more than elections. Just ask the people of Russia, Zimbabwe or Cuba. There are certain principles and practices, so-called norms, that are essential. And in Trump's America, those norms are under attack. In a democracy, the leader can't just rule the country on a whim, issuing diktats. They're subject to the rule of law, enforced by the courts. But look at the way Trump speaks about the judiciary when it stands in his way. When he called James Robart, who blocked his immigration order, a so-called judge, he undermined the judicial system and the very idea of the rule of law. A free press is also fundamental to a true democracy. There's a reason why free speech is enshrined in the First Amendment. It's the freedom on which all the others rest. Under Trump, the press is under constant attack. He denounces all but the most fawning journalists as liars. The very, very dishonest press. Answers almost no questions and tells his supporters to distrust and despise those who hold power to account. In this, Trump has allies. Not just Vladimir Putin, but the likes of Viktor Orban in Hungary, who speaks of creating an illiberal democracy. Europe's other populists, Marine Le Pen in France or Geert Wilders in Holland, are similarly impatient with democratic norms. In Britain, we're hardly immune. When judges ruled that parliaments should be consulted on Brexit, they were denounced as enemies of the people. But here's the frightening thing. It's not only populist politicians who are shifting away from democracy. One study found that across the world, just one in four millennials said it was essential to live in a democracy compared to three quarters of those born in the 1930s. Young people have seen democracy struggle to solve the great challenges of our time, inequality, say, or climate change. But if the next generation has lost hope in democracy, we've got more to worry about than just Donald Trump.